हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एन साइंस वी आर गोइंग टू रीड क्लास सिक्स साइंस चैप्टर नंबर फाइव बॉडी मोमेंट सिट एब्सोल्युटली स्टिल ऑब्जर्व द मोमेंट टेकिंग प्लेस इन योर बॉडी यू मस्ट बी ब्लिंकिंग योर आईज टाइम टू टाइम ऑब्जर्व द मोमेंट इन योर बॉडी एज यू प्रीथ देर आर सो मैनी मोमेंट्स दैट हैपन इन अवर बॉडीज When you are writing in your notebook, which part of the body are you moving? Or when you turn and look at your friend, different parts of your body move while you remain at the same place. In this example, you also move from one place to another. You get up and go to your teacher or to the school compounds or go home after school. You walk, run, skip, move from place to place let us see how animal move from place to place by filling up table 5.1 after discussing with our friends teacher and parents buju wonder about movements in plants he know they do not move from place to place but do they so any other kinds of movement how do animal move from place to place animals cow body part used for moving from place to place legs how does the animal moves walk human legs walk snake whole body slither bird wings fly insects wings ants legs fly and walk fishes fins and tail swim walk run fly jump creep crawl slither and swim These are only a few of the way in which animal move from one place to another. Why are there so many difference in the way that animal move from place to place? Why is it that many animals walk while a snake slither or crawls and a fish swims? Human body and its movement. Let us look closely at the sum of our own movement to being with before looking at all these varieties of movement in animals do you enjoy doing physical exercise at school how do you move your hands and legs while doing different exercises let us try some of the many movements our body is capable of ball an imaginary ball at an imaginary wicket How did you move your arms? Did you rotate it at the shoulders in the circular movement? Did your shoulders also move? Lie down and rotate your legs at the hip. Bend your arms at the elbow and the legs at the knee. Stretch your arms sideways. Bend your arm to touch your shoulders with your fingers. Which part of your arm did you bend? straighten your arm and try to bend it downward are you able to do it try to move the various part of your body and record their movement in table 5.2 why is it that we are able to move a few part of our body easily in various direction and some only in one direction why are we unable to move some parts of at all Activity one: Place a scale lengthwise on your arm so that your elbow is in the center. Ask your friend to tie the scale and your arm together. Now try to bend your elbow. Are you able to do it? Did you notice that we are able to bend or rotate our body in place where two parts of our body seems to be jointed together 
like elbow, shoulders, and necks. These plays are called joints. Can you name more such joints? If our body has no joints, do you think it would be possible for us to move in any way at all? What exactly is joined together at this joints? Press your finger against the top of your head, face, neck, nose, ear, back of the shoulders, hand and legs including the finger and toes. Do you get a feel of something hard pressing against your fingers? The hard structure are the bones. Repeat this activity on the other part of your body. So many bones. Bones cannot be bent. So how do we bend our elbow? It is not one long bone from the upper arm of our wrist. It is different bones joined together at the elbow. Similarly, there are many bones present in each part of the body. We can bend or move our body only at those points where bones meet. There are different types of joints in our body to help us carry out different movements and activities. Let us learn about some of them. Ball and socket joints. Activity 2. Roll a strip of paper into a cylinder, make a small hole in an older rubber and plastic ball, and push the paper cylinder into it and sewn in figure 5.2. You can also stick the cylinder on the ball. Put the ball in a small bowl. Does the ball rotate freely inside the bowl? Does the paper cylinder also rotate? Now imagine that the paper cylinder in your arms and that ball is its end. The bowl is like a part of the shoulders to which your arms is jointed. The rounded in on one bone fits into the cavity, hollow space of the other bones. Such a joints allow movement in all direction. Can you name another such joints you can think of recollecting the body movement we try at the beginning of this section? Pivotal joint The joint where our neck joins the head in a pivotal joint. It allows us to bend our head forward and backward and turn the head to our right and left. Try this moment. How are these movements different from those of our arms that can rotate a complete circle in? Its ball and socket joints. In a pivotal joint, a cylindrical bone rotates in a ring. Pivotal joints. Hinge joints. Open and close a door in a few times. Observe the hinge of the door carefully. They allow the door to move back and forth. Activity 3. Let us look at the kind of movement allowed by the hinge. Make a cylinder with cardboard or thick chart paper as shown figure 5.5. Attach a small pencil to the cylinder by piercing the cylinder at the center as shown. Make a hollow half cylinder from cardboard such that the rolled up cylinder can fit inside it easily. The hollow half cylinder with the rolled up cylinder sitting inside it allows movement like a hinge. Try to move the rolled up cylinder. How does it move? How is this movement different from what we saw with our constructed ball and socket joints? We saw this kinds of movement at the elbow in activity 1. What we have constructed in figure 5.5 is different from a hinge. Of course, but it illustrated the direction in which a hinge allow movement. The elbow has a hinge joint that allows only a back and forth movement. Can you think of more example of such joints? Fixed joints. Some joints between bone in our head are different from those we have discussed so far. The bones cannot move at these joints. Such joints are called fixed joints. When you open your mouth wide, you can move your lower jaw. 
away from your head isn't it try to move your upper jaw now are you able to move it there is a joint between the upper jaw and the rest of the head which is fixed joint we discussed only some of the joints that cannot part of our body what gives the different parts of the body their different shapes if you wanted to make a doll what will you make first perhaps a framework to give the doll shape before making its outer structure isn't it all the bones in our body also form a framework to a give shape of our body the human skeleton is composed of around 305 bones at birth the number of bone in the skeleton change with age it decreases to 206 bones by adulthood after some bones have fused together this framework is called a skeleton how do we know that this is the shape of human skeleton how do we know the shapes of different bones in our body we can have same ideas about the shape and number of bone in some part of our body by feeling them one way we could know this shapes better would be to look at x-ray image of the human body did you or any ones in your family you ever have x-ray of any part of your body taken Sometime when we are hurt or and have accident doctor use this x-ray image to find out about any possible injuries that might be had that might have happened to the bones the x-ray show the shape of the bones in our bodies feel the bones in your forearms upper arms lower legs and lower upper legs try to find the number of bones in each part similarly feel the bones of your ankle and knee joints and compare this with the x-ray image bend your fingers are you able to bend them in at every joint how many bones does your middle finger have feel the back of your palm it seems to have many bones isn't it is your wrist flexible it is made up of several small bones called carpals what will happen if it has only one bone activity 4 take a deep breath and hold it for a little while feel your chest bones and the back bones by gently pressing the middle of the chest and back at the same time count as many ribs bones of the chest as possible observe figure 5.10 carefully and compare with what you feel of the chest bone we see that the ribs are curiously bent they join the chest bone and the back bone together to form a box this is called a rib cage there are 12 ribs in each of the each sides of the chest some important internal part of the body lie protected inside this cage as some time to touch these toes without bending their knee starting from the neck move your fingers downward on the back of your friends feel is the backbone it is made up of many small bone called called vertebrae the backbone consists of 33 vertebrae the rib cage is joined to these bones a backbone was made up of only one long bones we will friend be a well to bend make your friend stand with both hands pressed to the wall and ask her to push the back bones the ball make your make your friend stand with both hands pressed to the wall and ask her to push the wall do you notice to bone on the backs are prominent where the shoulders are they are called shoulder bones observe figure 5.13 carefully this structure is made of pelvic bones they enclose the portion of your body below the stomach this is the part of you sit on 
the skull is made up of many bones joined together it includes and protect a very important part of the body the brain we discuss many bones and joints of our skeleton there are some additional part of the skeleton that are as hard as the bones and which can be bent this is called cartilage feel your air do you find any hard bones bony part that can be bent there do not seems to be any bones here isn't it do you notice anything different between the air loop and the portion about it above it as you press them between your finger you do feel something in the upper part of the air that is not as soft as the air loop but not as hard as a bone isn't it this is cartilage cartilage is found in the joints of the body we have seen that our skeleton is made up of many bones joints and cartilage you feel you could feel bent and move many of them draw a neat figure of the skeleton in your notebooks we have learned about the bones in our body and about joints that help us move in different way what makes the bones move the way they do let's us find out make a fist with one hand bend your arms at the elbow and touch your shoulders with the thumb do you see any change in your upper arms touch it with the other hand do you observe swollen region in the upper arms this is called a muscle the muscles bulged due to the contraction it becomes smaller in length now bring your arms back to its normal position what happened to the muscles it is still contracted you can observe similar contraction of muscle in your legs when you walk or run when as bone starts stiffer and thicker it pulls the bones muscles work in pair when one of them contracts the bone is pulled in the direction the other muscles of the pair relaxes to move the bone in the opposite direction the relaxed muscle contract to pull the bone towards its original position while the first relaxes a muscle can only pull it cannot push thus two muscles have to work, work together and move a bone our muscles and bones always required for movement how do you other animal move do all animals have bones what an earthworm or a snail let us study the manners of movement that is the gait of some animals gait of animal earthworm activity 5 observe an earthworm moving on soil in a garden gently lift it and place it on a piece of blotting or paper filter paper observe its movement then the place it on smooth glass plate on any slippery surface observe its movements now is it different from that on paper in which of the above two surface to do you find that the earthworm is able to move easily the body of an earthworm is made up of many rings joined end to end and earthworm does not have bones it has muscles which helps to extend and shorten the body during movement the earthworm first extends the front part of the body keeping the rear portions fixed on the ground it then shorten the body and pull the rear end forward this make it move forward by a small distance repeating such muscle expansions and contraction the earthworms can move through soils the body secrete a slimy slimy substance to help the movement how does it fix part of its body to ground under its body it has a large number of tiny bristles projecting out the bristles are connected with muscles the bristles have to get a good grip on the ground the earthworm actually eats way through the soil body then thrown away the undigested part of the material that it eats this activity of an earthworm make the soil more useful for plants snail activity 6 
observe a snail in your garden or in field have you seen the rounded structure it carries on its back this is called a cell and it is the outer skeleton of the snail but is not made of bone the cells is a single unit and does just not help in moving from place to place it has to be dragged along place this snail on a glass plate and watch it when it starts moving carefully lift the glass plates along with the snail over your head observe its movement from beneath a thick structure and the head of the snail may come out of an opening in the cell the thick structure is, is its foot made of a strong muscles now carefully tilt the glass plate the wavy motion of the foot can be seen is the movement of a snail slow or fast as compared to an earthworm cockroach activity 7 observe a cockroach cockroach walk and climb as well as fly in the air they have three pairs of legs this help in walking the body is covered with a hard outer skeleton this outer skeleton is made of number of plates joined together and that permits movement there are two pairs of wings attached to the body behind head the cockroach have distinct muscles those near the legs moves the legs for walking the body muscles moves the wings then the cockroaches flies birds birds fly in the air and walk on the ground some birds like duck and swans also swim in water the bird can fly because their bodies are well suited for flying their bones are hollow and light the bones of the hind limbs are typically for walking and perching the bony part of the fore limb are modified as wings the shoulder bone are strong the breast bones are modified to hold muscles of flight which are used to move the wing up and down fish activity 8 make a paper boat put it in water and push it with one narrow end pointing forward did it go into the water easily now hold the boat side way and push it into the water from the broad side are you able to make the boat move in water when you push it from this sides have you noticed that the shape of a boat in some what like a fish a head and tail of a fish are smaller than the middle portion of the body the body taper at the boat end this body shape is called streamlined the shape in such that water and flow around it easily and allow the fish to move in water the skeleton of the fish is covered with a strong muscle during swimming muscles make the front part of the body curve to one side and the tail part swings towards the opposite side the fish forms a curve as shown in figure 5.24 then quickly the body and tail curve to the other side this makes the jerk and pushes the body forward a series of such jerk make the fish swing ahead this is helped by the fins of the tail fishes also have other fins on their body which mainly help to keep the balance of the body and to keep direction while swimming Did you ever notice that underwater divers wear fins like flipper on their feet to help them move easily in water? How do snake moves? Have you seen a snake slither? Does it move straight? Snake have a long backbone. They have many thin muscles. They are connected to each other even though they are far from one another. muscles also interconnect the backbones ribs and skins the snake body curves into many loops each loop of the snake gives it a forward push by pressing against the ground since its long body makes many loops and each loops gives it is this push 
द स्नेक मूव फॉरवर्ड वेरी फास्ट एंड नॉट अ स्ट्रेट लाइन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द यूज ऑफ बोन्स एंड मसल्स फॉर द मूवमेंट ऑफ डिफरेंट एनिमल्स पहली एंड पूजूज है मैनी क्वेश्चन इन दस अबाउट द डिफरेंट्स मूवमेंट इन एनिमल सो मस्ट यू बी हैविंग मैनी अन आंसर्ड क्वेश्चन बजिंग इन योर माइंड द एंसियन ग्रीक फिलोसोफर एरिस्टोटल इज हिज बुक गेट ऑफ एनिमल आस्ट हेम सेल्फ दिस क्वेश्चन वाई डू डिफरेंट एनिमल हैव द बॉडी पार्ट दैट डू हैव एंड हाउ डू दिस बॉडी पार्ट हेल्प एनिमल टू मूव द वे दे डू वट आर द सिमिलैरिटीज एंड डिफरेंस इन दिस बॉडी पार्ट बिटवीन डिफरेंट एनिमल्स हाउ मैनी बॉडी पार्ट आर नीडेड बाई डिफरेंट एनिमल फॉर मूविंग फ्राम प्लेस टू प्लेस वाई टू लैक्स फॉर ह्यूमन्स एंड फोर फॉर काउस एंड बफेलोज मैनी एनिमल्स सीम्स टू बी हैविंग एन एवन नंबर ऑफ लैक्स वाई वाई इज द बेंडिंग ऑफ अवर लेग्स डिफरेंट फ्राम दैट ऑफ आवर आर्म्स सो मोनी मैनी क्वेश्चन एंड पर हैप्स वी हैव लुक फॉर आंसर्स थ्रू एवर एक्टिविटी इन दिस चैप्टर एंड वी नीड टू लुक फॉर मैनी मोर आंसर्स योगा फॉर बेटर हेल्थ योगा इज एन इनवेल्यूबल गिफ्ट ऑफ द एंसियंट इंडियन ट्रेडिशन द यूनाइटेड नेशन डिक्लेयर्स ट्वेंटी वन जून एज इंटरनेशनल योगा डे Yoga keeps a person healthy it helping in keeping the backbone erect enabling you to sit straight and not slouch many position in yoga require you to lift your own weight which helped in making the bones strong and help ward off osteoporosis it also help in relieving joint pain which is mostly observed in elderly people it turns all muscles in the body and keeps them active it keeps the heart healthy and make it work more efficiently certain yoga postures should be performed under the supervision of the trained person keywords backbone ball and socket joints bristles cartilage cavity fixed joint gait of animals hinge joint muscles outer skeleton pelvic bone pivotal joints rib cage shoulder bones skeleton